everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains so in this video we are going to design an application which makes the rest API with the fetch API okay it means uh, how to perform get post put and delete requests with fetch API so last class we discuss about get request and remaining requests we're gonna see here so for this we have to make this uh, design so let's make a design and then uh, We'll see how to create the custom API using the fetch. Okay, and once we have done with our custom API, so we're gonna call it and get data and start using that API. So in this, let's make a design and then starts with how to build the custom API of, uh, I mean, to perform the get post requests. So first of all, I need this design, but this design we already made it in a, for using of Ajax. It is not actually Ajax, uh, it is fetch API. Okay, fine, and let's make that. Um, yeah, let's make this now. So it was here, second folder. So Ajax with REST API, let me copy that and I'll paste it in Ajax tutorial. So let's make it 0, 5, and this is fetch fetch rest api okay okay fine and i don't need this let me close it and uh, html let me modify it's not ajax it's gonna be fetch and this is also fetch okay and let me open this in a browser fetch with rest api yeah so we got this and when I click on this button, it's not working because I removed uh, uh, the brain HTTP and also app.js. This is not at all required. Okay, so only design is there and we don't have JavaScript and we don't have a custom API. So here, first we'll design a custom API. So same like our Ajax. Now let's make a custom API for which API. So here, uh, what I do is I create a class, okay, or else you can create export class brain HTTP and here one constructor uh, But in constructor nothing to do actually because we don't need to uh, um, We don't to create any request or something right so okay keep it as this now let's make a get request so for get requests what I'm doing is uh, get is a method okay and this is gonna accept a URL so which URL we're gonna request for uh, data and here I'll make uh, I'll do one thing return new promise okay so this function is returns a new promise so inside so inside uh, what I'm doing is so this promise actually will have what uh, a callback which contains two things resolve and reject okay so now we'll make a fetch so fetch the URL dot then okay so here you will get actually a response Okay, so let's make it like this. So here you will get the response. And now what I'm doing is response.json. So this also gives you a promise. So dot then again. And here you will get in the function and this will actually gives you the data. So now we got the successful data and using this data, I'm going to call a function call resolve with the data okay uh, so resolve with data fine and if something went wrong so what you have to do is uh, dot catch uh, here uh, let's take like this if any error occurs if you are not getting a data so let's make it error and uh, let's make console dot error of error okay so this is how you will make a custom uh, get request for fetch. Okay, so this returns a new promise. 
fine and then let's make a post request so post request so how to make post request is post is a method so this will accept two things url and data so because you want to uh, submit some data to server so it's data so now here again new promise okay uh, watch return return new promise and this will be having two things one is resolve and reject now i'll making fetch of url dot then so here you will get actually response uh, let's make it a function so you will get the response and I'm doing a response dot JSON dot then so you can do like this directly dot then dot cache okay so dot then will be having uh, a data and if you're getting data so let's make a resolve of data and for cache you will get the error so what I'm doing is reject with an error actually I made a mistake uh, in the previous example it's not console log I call reject of error actually you just do a two things right resolve and reject uh, fine but here is something extra you have to do is so where we pass our data is here so fetch url comma an object we have to provide some extra information here uh, method so what was the method you're gonna do is post method okay capital comma uh, you need to add some headers that's like uh, application slash json what type of data you're gonna send to the server so that is uh, headers headers is gonna be an object again here uh, content uh, content type is gonna be application slash json okay and one more uh, is uh, body so we need to send some data so its body is gonna be uh, json dot stringify of data that's it oh no semicolon yeah so here is why uh, this is here is how you can make a post request to the fetch api okay and whatever the data you have submitted is gonna send over here and it returns a promise with resolve and reject when you when you call a resolve you get data reject means error fine so this is how you can make a post request and let's make a put and delete so put request so put exactly same as this uh let me uh copy this and paste it function name uh, put and here only you have to modify is put okay and remaining everything is same uh, okay so let's make another one is delete so delete is a slight difference so let's make a delete okay so for delete you will make a same thing a really small change you have to do copy the promise paste it so here uh, url anyway delete will get the url so paste it and uh, url you got and it's gonna be what delete request and content type okay and uh, what about this body and we don't need to send the body to the delete request so only this body parameter is not required okay remaining and all exactly same only data was not there so we're not sending any data and that's it so this is about delete request and put me to provide url and data so what object you want to update and here url and data and also here just url okay so now uh, so we made actually a custom api so now the next step is how to use this custom api to demonstrate uh, all these requests okay so that we'll see in a next video so thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you